What up fam, this Chief X, the God best reincarnated with some more of this common sense science. So today, we're talking about the solution for unity. Okay? The solution for unity lies in the red, black, and green flag. Because it's a social political movement. The red, black, and green. I'm a Garveyite. Marcus Garvey was a Christian. It's okay. We embrace him for his spirit, not his theological ideology. We embrace Dr. Khaled Muhammad for his spirit, not his theological ideology. Okay? Now, the reason why I say the solution is in the red, black, and green is because Marcus Garvey gave that flag to us, those colors to us, because we didn't know exactly what tribe or country that we descend from. So it's like our de facto flag and colors to represent as a people, as African Americans, Black Americans. Okay? And we should utilize it. And the reason why I say it is a solution for our unity because it is devoid of religion. It's a social political movement. Anyone can be down and represent the red, black, and green. Okay? So, imagine if all the Hebrew Israelites all the Moors, all the Muslims, all the Nuwapians, all the Pan-Africans fell under the banner and flag of the red, black, and green. Now, you can keep your religion. This is not a religious movement. You can keep your religion. You can still embrace the Bible, the Quran, the uh, uh, Circle 7, uh, uh, um, and, and anything else. But when we come together, we come together under the red, black, and green flag and banner and movement. You understand what I'm saying? So the RBG movement is basically the only movement that doesn't require you believe in anything. It's a social political movement for progress. Okay? Now, when I watch sports, specifically block boxing or combat sports, if a guy from the Ukraine comes into the ring, he comes into the ring to do battle. And he brings his Ukrainian flag and colors to represent. Whether you're from Puerto Rico fighting, you come in the ring with the Puerto Rican flag representing your bloodline. Not specifically the country. These cats do it representing their bloodline and heritage. Whether you're from Mexico, Puerto Rico, uh, uh, um, the Ukraine, Russia, Kazakhstan, Pakistan, any of the Stans, any country, they come into the ring when they do battle representing their flag and their bloodline. We are the only people who don't do that. Now, some say, hey, you can come in with the American flag. Okay, I watched the UFC last night fights. They fought in Brazil. The event took place in Brazil. And when these white guys stepped into the octagon, in the cage, they had the American flag wrapped, wrapped around them. A lot of them was military. Okay? And they had that American flag because it was representing their people and their bloodline. We're the only people who don't do that. Wherever we go and wherever we represent, we're supposed to represent under the red, black, and green. Moors can represent under the red, black, and green and still consider themselves Moorish American. It, it, it stops nothing. The Hebrews can do that and still represent the Star of David or whatever they represent. It doesn't stop that. You can keep your religion. We need to join under the banner of the red, black, and green. It is the only way, only solution to unity. 
we fall in line together. So if I see whether you Hebrew, Moors, Nuwapian, 5% or whatever, when I see you and you got that red, black, and green, we're on the same team. So when we come together, keep your theological ideas and ideology to yourself. We're not concerned with that. We're concerned with progress and movement. So what I'm saying is reality. You know what I mean? And should be respected and implemented. We need to continue to talk about this. Everyone falls under the banner of the red, black, and green, regardless of your theological ideology. It's about numbers. Now, do you understand if, excuse me, I left off the nation of Islam. They need to represent under the red, black, and green. And they can still keep their theological ideology. It stops nothing. Can you imagine if all the nation of Islam, all the Hebrews, all the Moors, all the Nuwapians, all the five percenters, all the Muslims came together and represented under the red, black, and green? Do you know the visual of that? Do you know around the country how many children and people will see? Damn. That red, black, and green is a powerful movement. Get your mind right. I know what I'm talking about. Chief X with the Common Sense Science. I'm out.